guys, it's Michelle. So this was kind of another one of those last minute videos where I really didn't think to announce this. Um, I actually hurt myself earlier today, so my back is killing. So I took a nice hot bath and um, I did a little, took care of some bills and all that stuff. So I thought I would show you the massive haul that I have. And I was lucky guys, I did some pretty good um, shoe shopping this time around. So we'll save the shoes for the end. So, I'm just going to get started. Very exciting. Okay. So, we're going to start with Lush. You guys know how much I love Lush. We're going to start with this. We're going to wait until the end to show you the shoes. The one pair, guys, trust me, it's worth waiting for. It's amazing. I almost didn't buy the shoe, but totally worth it. I did get a pair of boots. Absolutely. Wait till the end and you'll see them. Trust me, you guys will not be disappointed. Anyway, we're going to start with what I got from Lush. I needed a new toner, and so I have Breath of Fresh Air. Um, I got out of the bath, so no, I'm not wearing pantyhose at the moment. I was wearing them at work earlier. So I haven't tried a Breath of Fresh Air yet, but I need a new toner. Well, not a new toner. I need another toner because the rose water one that I have from Lush is almost out, and... I really needed one, so there was that. I was actually pretty good as far as my behavior at Lush this time around. Hey, Ramon, how are you? Okay, this one is called Pink. I'll show it to you. Ooh. Ooh, I just inhaled a ton of dust. That can't be healthy for you. So this is called Pink. It smells similar to bubblegum or Tutti Frutti. I I don't know where the name Tutti Frutti came from. I thought Tutti Frutti was like something different at one point. I don't know. But it is what it is. This one is Turtle. And this is one of those jelly bombs. Hopefully it's not going to be as gross as the last one. It's got a really nice earthy scent. So I'm really excited. And it looks like a turtle, which is adorable. You guys know my love for anything nautical. And the last one I got was Intergalactic. Now, guys, stick around to the end if you want to see the shoes. I'm saving those for last because it's just going to be so worth it. It's intergalactic. I love the way this smells. There's a very strong scent of, um, honey, I washed the kids with this one. And I really, really like that. And I'm just going to have a sip of my vino tonight. I'm drinking um, Cabernet Sauvignon. I may be pronouncing that wrong. This is made by Dark Horse. It's a California wine. And it's really, really nice. It's not as strong as a Merlot, but it's absolutely delicious. Uh -uh. Ew. I have a piece of dust in my cup. It's probably... It's probably lush dust. Ugh! I hate it. don't want dust in my wine. Okay, so next thing... Oh my gosh, it's, I was really bad, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. So I think we're going to do TJ Maxx next, and there's a pair of shoes in there. They're a work shoe, but the sexy pair of shoes that I got, I'm saving for last because they're absolutely amazing, guys. Trust me. My mom was trying to fight me for them. But I have a bigger foot than my mother, so she did not win. I'm not proud to have a bigger foot than my mom, but it is what it is. So, TJ Maxx, um, well, I got Joey a Christmas gift, so I'm not going to show that, but my mom got me this, guys, you're going to love this. It was such a steal. So, this was on clearance for $4. It's made by Free People. You got to check this out. This is a bodysuit. It's kind of sheer, actually. What I love about it is that it's that mermaid style where you can, like, move the... I tried it on. It's super gorgeous. It's going to look amazing with a skirt. Super sexy and super comfortable. And I didn't think it was going to fit because of the size. It's a small, but it fit and it's absolutely... It, it, it doesn't look like much now, but trust me, when I do an outfit of the day in this, you are going to be like, what, girl? It's really worth it. Um, and it was only $4, which I was really impressed with. I was actually pretty shocked about it because it's a free people. And I know that that brand tends to be pricey. Um, it says it was originally 26 I would think even for free people that's on the low ball side, but it is what it is. Now this, guys, I'm really excited about. I've been wearing one of these forever. 
Um, they normally go for about $40, but I found it at TJ Maxx for $16.99. Now, if you guys don't know what this is, this is the Simply Fit Board. This is supposed to help you with your abs, which I'm having issues with lately. As far as the exercise I typically do, I've kind of got myself to a standstill. Um, today has been really good, Sean, actually. It's been very, very hot here. We're having a heat wave, but I love it because it's not snow. Um, so I got in my favorite color, purple. And this thing's actually a lot of fun, and it does a pretty good workout. So I'm going to incorporate this into my routine because the stuff I typically do, my body's gotten used to. So I'm kind of in a rut right now as far as my abs go. So I'm really excited to add this. I've been wanting it for so, so long. What you do is you stand on it, and you twist, like... You know the song twist again like you did last summer so and you feel it in your core um, I really like it I've used it twice so far and I'm really happy with it just to incorporate it into my regular routine um, because like I said I've gotten used to the workouts I'm currently doing and I've been wanting this forever but I did not want to spend the 40 but for 16 I thought it was worth it so next thing that I got oh my god I bought way too much at TJ Maxx, guys, your girl was bad. Um, so I'm always finding gift bags for friends, but it's hard for me to find masculine gift bags, like for my father, for my brother. I actually found two at TJ Maxx. They were $1.79 each. And they actually came with tissue paper, so I got this one with a crab on it. You guys know my love for nautical. I guess this is universal, to be honest with you. It could go for male or female or whatever you identify as. And this one is the octopus. I actually have somebody in mind for this. I just wish they would have had bigger ones. It's so hard to find gift bags or gift wrap that are more masculine. Does anybody else have that issue or is it just me? Probably just me. Next, my best friend. The girl's turning 30 this year. Love that girl. I, you know what? She may actually be watching this. So, Danielle, if you're watching, um, there's a gift here for you, but I can't show it to you. So, sorry guys. Um, but it's absolutely awesome. She actually may be watching this video, so I don't want to spoil because her birthday's in two weeks, and I don't want to spoil the surprise. Okay, so this is a pair of shoes, guys. Okay, are you ready? I don't know if you're ready. Um, as I, I don't know if I've told you, but, um, uh, in between, like, every two or three days, I'll put on a flat shoe for work because of, um, foot health. Now, recently, because I didn't have a flat pair of shoes... Friday night or Saturday night, I was in so much pain. The tendons in my foot were, like, spazzing out so bad. It was, it hurt so bad that I had to, like, pretty much crouch or go into a squatting position and keep my foot kind of in an elevated position like this. I was in so much pain, I was crying. This was about, like, 2 o'clock in the morning because I didn't have that break in between because all the muscles in my foot were used to this high heel and... It's just not good. So it's important to take care of your feet. And I promise you guys, um, I'm going on vacation this week. So um, when I get back, I'll be doing the foot health video. Let me know what you guys think. Thumbs this up if you are into that. Um, I'm really excited to share that with you because I think a lot of girls really need to know how to take care of their feet, especially if you guys wear pantyhose, especially if you're wearing heels on a regular basis. It's very important to take care of your feet because you're going to be having these feet till you die. So you need to really um, take care of them even when we abuse them, like wearing stilettos and stuff like that. So I finally did find a pair of flats, however. Now, I had to go up a couple sizes because they just didn't fit me right. Now, they were a little pricier than what I would normally pay for a flat. I love for delicious ballet flats. They're absolutely amazing. Um, but this is made by Me Too. And I got it in a 9 because <laughs> my normal size, it wouldn't fit. But they have all this cushion. I don't know if you can see that. It's very nice and soft. And I normally don't like these ones that kind of curl like this. Normally, I'm like, mm. But it's actually very comfortable. And it's super cute for the office. Look at that. How adorable is this? Is that not adorable? Truly, really, trust me, the shoe I'm saving till the end is way better than this. But this is going to be my in-between heels, like every couple of days shoe. Um, so I'm very happy to find this, but I need at least one more pair just to switch them out because these things wear out quickly. And these were $24.99. Like I said, a little pricier than what I normally pay for a flat shoe, but it is what it is, guys. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. Okay, what's the next thing? I did really good, guys. Your girl was really super bad. Okay, 
you guys know my love for a fox. My last name, Vixina, Vixen. Similar, not really, but we'll go with it. Um, I love foxes. So I found this cup and ugh, it was $2.99. Not that I needed more mugs. I have one that's chit, so that's how I justified it. And I thought the size was really nice. So it says it's pumpkin spice season and it's got this adorable, look at him. Isn't he adorable? And he's, I think he's drinking a caramel macchiato because that's what Michelle likes. Isn't he cute? It's a really nice size. I think this is perfect for fall, um, for the office. It's like, I'm looking forward to using this cup a lot and for the price. And it replaces one that um, it's, I really can't use it anymore, but I don't have the heart to throw it out. So I might use it for pens or something. I haven't figured it out yet. He's chipped to heck. And I heard that when plates and cups chip that they can harbor bacteria. So I'm, I'm hesitant to use this cup any further, but it's an adorable fox. So I don't really want to throw them out either. So, you guys know I've been also looking for new um, nail polishes in different colors that I don't normally use. So, I found this. Oh, my gosh. I normally don't buy the small ones, but I couldn't pass this up. This was $5.99. This is OPI Grease. You guys might have remembered I did a look that was very similar to Sandy's look. You know, tell me about it, stud. I love Sandy so much. So, this set has four different colors in it. It has Don't Cry Over Spilt Milkshakes, Why Is It All Just a Dream, Pink Ladies Rule the School, You're the Shade That I Want, and they're all very pretty. Oh, thank you so much. I'm really glad that you enjoy my outfit videos. Aren't these colors pretty? Um, this, these two, these ones are lighter. I, this is something I would typically wear. Actually, this is my mom's favorite color right there. Um, you know, in reality, I would love to be Sandy, but sometimes my personality is closer to Rizzo. Um, yeah, I, I, I can go either way. I can be extremely, extremely sweet, but I have a little bit of a rebellious side. So, you know, watch out, boys. I love this. I'm pretty much rebellious Sandy with longer hair, but I really, really love this. The next thing I got, I'm super excited about. I was thinking about giving this as a gift, but... I may keep it now. Um, it's originally $35. This is a Betsy Johnson. Number one, let's appreciate the packaging here. How pretty is that? You know what I'm saying? I paid $6 for these. I feel like I've had something similar. I did. I had mermaids. Um, but these are little keys. I love the keys. They remind me so much of um, Tiffany. I really want another piece from Tiffany. I haven't gotten one recently. It's been a couple of Three years, actually. Tiffany, this is what they look like. The only thing I don't like about these is one long and one's short. It's a little weird to me. Um, I may get my jewelry pliers and make them both the same length. I haven't decided what you guys think. Keep them the way it is. Fix them. What do you guys think? She does this a lot with her earrings, and I know it's like fashion forward, but in many ways, I'm kind of old fashioned. So to me, it's like ah, a little weird. In this. Is there something in this? Oh. Guys, there are sunglasses. Because I've been losing them and breaking them like no tomorrow. Now, these are Tommy Hilfiger. This is my first pair of Tommies. Um, they were only $4. I don't know what they were originally. It's like final clearance. But I thought they looked really good. I've been wanting like an aviator style. Especially since I'm going on vacation. What do you think? You like them, guys? They look pretty cool. And they're dark enough because I don't like... What's the point of having a lightly tinted sunglass? I, I don't get it. I've seen a lot of them. One of my friends has a pair that's like so light. Makes no sense to me. But I think these are cute. We'll see how long they last. Because I've been going through those flipping things like no tomorrow. Sure, we're almost there, guys. And we'll be going to the boots in a second. Like I said, my mother almost fought me for those boots. They are beautiful. All right, so I got Marshalls, Dollar Tree, and then we'll go to the church. So we're going to start with Dollar Tree. Now this I'm a little upset about. I bought this bag. It says, let's be mermaids. But the guy behind the counter, like, he's like, oh, do you want to use it? I'm like, yeah. And he ripped it. And I didn't realize it until after I left. It's like a little smug butthole anyway. But, like, it's actually broken here. I've actually taped it up. But it's only a dollar, so I'm not going to complain about it. It is what it is. But I wanted that bag because I thought it was cute. 
I got the last three of these. Their razors are actually pretty good. These are the five blade stainless steel razors. These are the last ones. You get three in there for a dollar. Um, these are the best ones I've seen so far. I'm doing good, Jamie. How are you doing? Good to see you. These boots with the outfit I'm wearing are not going to look good, but I will be doing an outfit of the day with them extremely soon. These are extremely sexy boots. Um, so, and I'm just wearing this Love Hope Anchor shirt, so it's not really the cutest outfit, um, but within the next day or so, you'll be seeing an outfit with these boots. I promise you guys. Um, yes, absolutely. So next is these puff stickers. These are just little mermaid ones. It says mermaizing. I'd rather be a mermaid. Believe in magic. So cute. And they're glitter. I love puff stickers. As a kid, I loved these. I'm in my 30s and I'm still buying stupid stickers. I just love them. Cute. Cute, cute. Like I said, I've been actually contemplating selling some of my old shoes. Um, I'm, I gotta contact her, and I feel so bad. So if you're watching, I apologize. There's a amazing shoe artist that I've been con um, talking with regularly, and she's gonna take some of my dead pairs and turn them into something beautiful. And I've been meaning to send this poor girl pictures, and I haven't because I'm just an idiot. Um, but the ones I'm not sending, I'm contemplating either selling on Etsy or eBay. You guys are interested let me know um uh, it's just a contemplation at this point i don't have time really to run ebay anymore so i have somebody else that does it for me so if you guys are still interested though let me know um next is this candle i bought this is bourbon maple i really like these small jars these are perfect for jewelry and that's something else i've been working on is making jewelry and earrings again and planning on selling them on etsy again so if you guys are interested let me know I'll do a video on some of the jewelry I've made. I've been making jewelry for over 10 years, but it's kind of been like on the back burner for quite some time. But yeah, this smells really sweet and delicious. It's more maple than bourbon. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not a bourbon fan per se, but it's super cute. What's your guys' favorite alcohol actually, since we're on here and I can talk to you guys live. I think that I love this. Like this is like my new favorite thing. What do you guys enjoy as far as when you have um, alcohol. You guys know I typically come on here. I'm normally drinking a champagne or a wine. As far as hard liquor, if I'm not drinking a mixer, like um, I love pina coladas and that's typically rum. Um, my favorite is Southern Comfort. I really love Southern Comfort. I'll have Southern Comfort and Coke with a lime. It's like one of my favorites. Vodka fan. Very nice. My one friend loves vodka. Um, my best friend is a rum girl. Um, she prefers her captain. You and Captain make it happen. What is it with these stupid little, like, I feel like nothing's worse than getting dust in your drink. Fireball. Fireball. Whew, that one's powerful for me. I can't handle fireball. I like cinnamon. It's just too strong for me. But I've heard of some great recipes and mixers with fireball. Very delicious. Um, so now the last thing that I got from the Dollar Tree, these are the last two. And I have ceramic bowls, but it's good to have plastic bowls so that if you drop it, it's not a loss. So these have um, little crabs and turtles on them. Now, little known fact about me that you guys may not know. When I was a child, we're talking toddler, um, we lived near um, a sound. Oh, I love red wine too, as you can tell, but I know what you're talking about. I know a lot of people who are very, very much allergic to um, wines. How often do I drink? Not that often. Normally, I'll have a drink or two on the weekends. Um, tonight's special. Well, not really special. Um, I like having a glass of wine when I'm, you know, talking to you guys. So I don't really drink all that often, to be honest with you. Maybe once, twice a week at the most. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. When it comes to the holidays, maybe a little bit more because of parties, I'll drink a little bit more. 
not that often and once winter comes it's very very rare i drink a little bit more in the summertime because of parties but they're more more or less on the weekends um i try not to drink during the week i don't like drinking when i have to work the next day so like i said this is just a special occasion kind of thing oh that's no good um no i don't drink that much either i do enjoy drinking socially and this is kind of a social thing as far as I'm concerned. So I do like having a glass or two um, while I'm socializing. Um, but yeah, I really don't drink all that much. A little bit more in the summertime than the winter because I'm socializing more, but you know, it is what it is. But anyway, it, a little known fact about me, when I was a toddler, I used to call crabs uh, crabadellas. Don't know why, but we lived not far, far from um, ocean water and my father had a boat. And we would catch crabs off that boat, which was a lot of fun. And I still, to this day, adore crabs. They're one of my favorite animals. Okay, one more bag, guys, before we bring out the sexy boots. So if you've waited this long, trust me, it's going to be worth it. So there's just three items in this bag. The first thing I bought was this little, it's called Vivitar Silky Smooth Precision Trimmer. Not that you guys really want to see this. Very nice. Yes, I've read that drinking red wine is actually healthy for you. Um, it's supposed to be good for your heart, I believe. Um, there is a red wine that I absolutely adore. It's a very, very sweet wine, though. Um, it's almost like a fruit punch, but it pairs amazing with, uh, of all things, hot wings. That's classy, isn't it? But um, lately, I've been feeling Merlot's. We went to this beautiful Mediterranean restaurant not far from where we live. Which is amazing. I didn't even know. This place has been there for quite some time. I had no idea the place existed. The food was to die for. And had the most delicious Merlot. Oh, love you too. Um, the Merlot was divine. So I've been kind of on that kick of a darker red. Um, the Cabernet Sauvignon is not as dark as a Merlot. But it's still a little on the tartar side. And I really, I've been feeling that lately. I normally like a little bit on the sweeter side. But... I can go either way. Maybe it's, I'm a Gemini, so maybe, I, I do tend to go back and forth with things sometimes. So, sometimes like super sweet, sometimes like super dry, it just depends on my mood. But anyway, so this may not be exciting for you guys, but this is just an eyebrow trimmer. I actually like the early 2000s very thin look, but a lot of people say that I have really nice eyebrows. I just want to trim them up and I actually need to go for a wax and get those bad boys in check. But um, this is good to have in between. A friend of mine has one at work and she says she absolutely adores it. Now this I'm super excited for guys. I've been wanting to do this forever but I'm going to wait till after the summer where like it's colder and you'll show your feet off as much. This is an exfoliating exfoliating exfoliant. Okay. I'm not kidding. That's what it says. Exfoliating exfoliant because you know the one word isn't it. This is one of those foot masks that you put on for like an hour and then you wait a week and then like it's the the dead stuff starts peeling off i have a friend who did this and she was like she loved it and she said her feet really felt super soft she had like baby soft feet um and i can go for this especially wearing with heels and stuff you tend to get dry spots on your foot i do work on it regularly to keep it in check but i've been wanting to try this kind of product for quite some time and i got this for 3.99 i'm like i'm going to give this bad boy a go I'm obviously going to wait till after my vacation. Once the weather starts cooling down and I'm not showing my feet off as much, I don't think you guys want to see my feet all scaly and gross after I do this. If you guys want to know my review on this, please let me know down below. But I'm super, super stoked to try out this product. I've heard amazing things from people who've used it. And I can't wait. I even convinced my mom to try it. But she was a little bit more on the fence about this. But I'm like, Mom, because she has one of those... I have it too, but I don't use it very often. One of those razors to, like, you shave off your calluses. And I'm not going to lie, um, years ago, I actually cut so deep that I bled and it hurt so bad. I, it was, like, right on the ball of my foot. No, these things are pretty dangerous. Um, I've been using them since I was a teenager. I don't really recommend using it because there are better things out there. Do I still sometimes use it? Yes, I'm not going to lie to you about that. Um... But there are better products. So I'm hoping that this bad boy is good. So I got one more thing, guys, for the boots. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. I couldn't help myself. 
he does okay, okay the question asked because i don't know if you guys can see the questions being asked as we're talking on here um so the question i would just ask is does joey rub my feet sometimes he does yes um actually he went to school to be a massage therapist so he um has a degree in it and he, um we work a lot so we are pretty busy so it doesn't happen as often as i'd like and the tootsies can use a little um massage right now actually i'm sure if i went out there and asked him he would but um i don't like bothering him either because he works a very very strenuous job so i don't like bothering him either um but anyway back to what i have to show you now i already bought a mug so to buy another mug was redundant and i have way too many mugs than i should really shake a stick at but this thing was so darn adorable i couldn't pass it up it was 4.99 are you ready i don't think you're ready for the overwhelming cuteness that i'm about to bestow upon you look at him oh that's the only thing i like about fall is you find all kinds of cute little foxes isn't he baby I don't know if I like foxes because they look like chihuahuas or because chihuahuas look like foxes. But I'm obsessed with both. Isn't he adorable? He's drinking his little coffee. I can't stand it. And it says Foxy One on the inside. Ah! If I would have found this first, I probably wouldn't have bought this one. I would have bought it, I think, anyway. Because this was only $2.99. This one's a little bit more expensive. Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness, he's like my absolute favorite animal, as you guys know. I, I live for foxes. Maybe I should do, uh, to do a fox collection video that would take us an eternity. What do you guys think? Do you want to see my collection of foxies? I have quite a few. I love this one. Oh really? Your dad had a pet one? I would love a pet fox. I, I live for them. On my, where we live, um, my father has a huge field because we live in the middle of nowhere. Um, and in the field, there is a pair of foxes. There's a female silver and, oh, thank you so much, Dan. I really appreciate that. I got no makeup on and my hair is kind of a wreck, so I don't really feel that way, but I do appreciate that. Um, there's a female silver fox and there's a male regular red fox and they're absolutely gorgeous and on rare occasion I get to watch them like hop through the grass they're absolutely beautiful I know that they can be pests I know a lot of people don't like them but they're just so playful and adorable I, I understand if you're a farmer you don't like foxes and they are pests and they can kill poultry and stuff like that I totally get where you're coming from but I mean like I'm one of those people that if I ran over a frog with my car like in the rain like because I've done it when it rains really bad the frogs come out like you wouldn't believe I cry I'm I'm pretty bad like that but um I don't I don't like hurting other creatures so it is what it is so now guys it's time for those of you who've been extremely patient oh thank you so much Dan I really appreciate that okay so originally guys I went to DSW looking for work shoes because I need work shoes more than you ever know. And I came across these extremely gorgeous, sexy boots that I couldn't pass up. Now, they're originally $100, and I ended up paying $41, which is a little pricier than what I normally pay. But these bad boys are so worth it, guys. They're made by Guess. And I believe they're made out of suede. Let me get the one that's not covered. Anymore. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun, dun. Look at this. It's got the hidden platform that I love. And it's actually, it comes up to my thigh, close to it anyway, it comes above the knee. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I just gotta get the stupid stickers off of the bottom of these things. I hate these stupid stickers. Oh, this one comes off pretty clean. Let's see if the other one does. Um, they rang up $41. Anyway. Boop. I'll be doing an outfit with these in the next couple of days. And they are absolutely gorgeous and super, super comfortable. Um, like I said, with working out, my calves are a little bit more muscular than they used to be. So getting into st stuff like this tends to be a little bit more difficult. But these actually fit me really well. Um, there is a line down here of, I guess, elasticity. So it makes them fit really nice and tight and beautiful. But they're gorgeous. I love the hidden platform. It's very small. I felt the same way about these boots too. I wanted to lick them as well. 
um, they're gorgeous. And I have trouble finding boots because in the area that I live in, they're... And to those of you who like country style and mason jars, this is not an insult in any way, so don't take it as such. It's just not my thing. Um, a lot of the boots in this area are UGG looking or very biker-esque or very Timberland-esque. Um, this is very city chic. So this is the kind of boot that I tend to look for. And it's very hard to find where I live because the people that I live around don't like this kind of style. So it's very difficult. That's why I didn't mind paying the $42. It was 41 change for this shoe. So beautiful. I have a pair that I bought from AMI Clubwear that are similar. Um, they're made out of vinyl. They just don't have all the buckles, but they're very tall. So I'm going to be wearing the crap out of them because they're starting to show somewhere. I'm going to start wearing the crap out of them now that I got these bad boys so I can replace them. But oh my goodness, do I love them. Well, on your outfit videos, you're wearing those. Um, my, one of my recent videos will have these in them. So, looking forward to that. I would love to, I know you guys want me to put them on right now, and I want to, but I'm completely lathered up in oil, and I don't want to get the oil all over the boots. I put on a dry oil, but it's anything but dry. I'm very sleek and, sleek and supple, but not so good um, for boots. I don't, I think they're suede, and I don't want to ruin the suede. But trust me, guys, you will see me in them very soon. Um, I posted pictures of some of my dresses midsummer, I believe. Um, a lot of them you guys haven't seen. So I want to do a series where I start showing you more of my short dresses. I tend not to wear the shorter ones. Um, I guess for modesty reasons, I feel like maybe I'm too old to wear them at this point. Oh, thank you so much. You're too sweet. Um, yeah, I'm like getting to that age now where I feel like, oh, well, I'm probably too old to be wearing that or maybe I shouldn't be wearing something so short or so revealing so I've noticed that about me I'm not liking that way of thinking so I'm trying to like snap myself out of it I'm not well, I'm not retiring anytime soon I mean you know what I mean I agree with you oh thank you Danny I appreciate that um, but I do plan on wearing some of these other dresses like they're, they're super short they're super tight and I know I don't tend to wear that kind of thing on there. I try to do more modest stuff. But um, just because something's tight and short doesn't mean you can't make it... Um, what's what I'm looking for? You, sexy without showing too much. That's why I love tights and pantyhose. Because it, it brings you to another level of class. It brings you um, a level of modesty in many ways too. I will wear shorter dresses and stuff like that with a pair of tights. Oh, thank you so much. Um, but yeah, that's why I really like wearing tights, especially with, um, like I said, short dresses, tunics, because um, it can take something that could, if you don't wear them, look pretty inappropriate. But a pair of tights can bring it down and be like, okay, that's more appropriate. And I really love that. And my, oh, guys, you wouldn't believe how bitten up I got this past week. It's disgusting. My legs are absolutely covered. And I had on my Mary Jane that you guys have seen a million times, and it's rubbing where the bug bites are. And I am going absolutely insane. Like, ugh. I put witch hazel on it, which really, it works really well for bug bites if you guys haven't tried that. However, um, it just drives me crazy, these bug bites. Oh, I can't. And I need to go for a petty more, oh, so bad. So I'm going on vacation this week, so I don't know if I'll have time to get a petty. I agree with you. I absolutely love, love boots. I think they're absolutely the sexiest thing on the planet. I used to have a lot more, unfortunately. I've worn them out um, over the years. And the boots I like, like I said, in the area that I live in, they're not very popular, unfortunately. And it's very difficult for me trying on shoes because my shoe size, I will go up and down. I have a love for leather, too. <laughs> oh, my God. Absolutely. Um... Another fact I'm going to admit to you guys that I don't normally talk about, I actually have a closet dedicated to leather. I have tons and tons of leather coats. It's something that me and my family really, really love. Um, and we used to shop a lot of Wilson's leather, but now they have more vegan leather, which nothing wrong with that. 
but there's something about the touch and feel of actual leather. I absolutely love it. I love the smell of it. I grew up um, with that. I mean, my dad's Italian, so um, a leather was like part of life. I haven't found the pinup shoe that I've been looking for. I'll see if I can. Um, I do have a leather tank top. It's kind of biker-esque. Unfortunately, when I bought it, my cup size was an A, and I'm not an A anymore. Um, I've gained some weight since then. Um, I mentioned to you guys that at one point I was a size 1, size 2. Um, and I've gained, obviously, I'm not a size 1 or 2 anymore. But that's when I, around the time I bought it. Last time I tried it on, it almost fit. Uh, so I gotta try it on again and see if it still does. We'll, we'll see. I was very, very close. But yeah, I love leather. I have a custom-made leather trench coat that I love. What else do I have? Tons of leather. Oh my god. I'll start introducing you to some of it. Because um, I haven't worn a lot of it in a while because of my weight gain. Yeah, I love the smell of leather too. Um, after I, I gained a lot of weight... And I'm, as you guys know, I've started to lose it. I'm starting to get more toned. So my old clothing starting to fit again. And a lot of my coats that I used to wear didn't fit me for the longest time, but they do now. And I haven't shown you a lot of them. And some of them are really, really awesome. They're very beautiful pieces that I haven't really shared with you guys. And um, I'm really excited to show those to you. So they will be coming soon, guys. Now that fall is upon us, you will be seeing more leather. You really don't wear leather a lot in the summertime. I don't recommend it. I've done it. Um, but it's, it's a pain in the neck. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm really enjoying this. I could really go, you know, I've been in the mood for a good Merlot and a really nice prime rib. I will be showing the leather very, very soon. Um, I was actually, I, I don't know how I missed contact with him. I don't know. YouTube's changed a little bit. And I'm still figuring it out. Um, but there was a uh, designer that was working with latex. And we were going to do some stuff together. So if you are watching, please message me again. I am so sorry that we have lost contact. It's just, I'm having trouble finding any of my messages anymore. So um, if that designer is still watching, please let me know so that we can work together. I'm still looking for your messages that you left. But um, YouTube changed things, so I'm struggling to find things. <sighs> Gotta love it. But I'm also going to be doing some, let's talk about some videos that I'll be doing later on this week. I got some toys in from Listia that I'm super stoked about that I'll be sharing with you guys. I want to do an eBay haul because I did get some recent things. Although the necklace that I really wanted to share with you guys came in. And this is the disgusting part. We'll see how this story ends. But the necklace that I got um, had water. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm very grossed out. I'm going to share this with you though. It smells like urine to me. It came from China. Um, I don't know what the liquid is, but the necklace is rusted to heck. I got to send them pictures, and they said they're going to do something reasonable for me. I don't know. I just, like, was so grossed out. I opened the package, and I'm like, why is this wet? And there's a scent to it that it's not water, but I'm telling myself it's water. Honestly, if I probably wouldn't have bought the necklace had I known where it was coming from. Um... Just because I've had packages go missing from buying those really cheap things over there. I do have leather pants. I haven't worn them in a very, very long time. So I can't, I don't know if they still fit. Like I said, I used to be a size 2. And that's when I wore a lot of these things. I've been looking to get um, leather pants again. There's a tailor nearby. And I want to see if they can make me a pair. But we'll see. Yes, um, I have a Funko Pop that I just got, and I have an old 90s toy that I got. I've been trying to find trolls again. You guys know my love for the, my trolls, um, but I haven't had any luck recently finding trolls. All I'm finding are those stupid new ones. You know, like the, the pink one with the, I don't even know what their names are, but they made that new movie not too long ago. And that's the only kind of troll I'm finding. I'm having a very difficult time finding 80s and 90s style trolls. <sighs> It, it ticks me off. Because um, I know a lot of you guys really enjoyed that. I have no idea what happened with this necklace. Um, I'm sorry guys. I'm just responding to you <laughs> as you guys comment. Um, like I said, it came from China. And when I opened the package, it was, 
it had liquid in it. And I'm not sure really what the liquid is, but it does have this very, the, it could be water and just from oxidization from the metal because it's not made from stainless steel. It's made from some cheap metal. So from the oxidization from the metal and the water, that could be what I'm smelling on this, but it doesn't smell good. I do like whimsical stuff, Dan, very much so. Um, I love anything fantasy, whimsical. Um, I collect all kinds of dragons and mermaids and fairies. I have a huge collection. I have a huge Windstone Edition collection. If you guys aren't familiar with what Windstone Editions are, you can Google them. They're a little pricey. I haven't bought one in a very long time, but her depictions are very, very beautiful. It could be a little bit of both, rust and rot. I'm not sure what's on the necklace, but um, I got to take pictures of it. When the lighting's better, I'm going to do that tomorrow, actually, before I go on vacation. And hopefully we can get that issue resolved. Um, Windstone Editions, they, their depictions of dragons and unicorns are very realistic and they're absolutely gorgeous. You can get paint your own. They got blind bag ones. I, I've been wanting to get another one for my collection. I just don't know where to put it at this point, but I do, um, love whimsical and fantasy and all those kinds of things. I love wizards and crazy. So I love like... The best way to, I, I really can't really describe myself other than I love very whimsical fantasy type things, but I'm also very like Barbie-esque Barbie girl. I love Playboy kind of things. I love Juicy Couture style. Um, there's a few YouTubers that used to be on here years ago that I loved because I loved their sense of fashion. Um, they were a little bit more risque than I am, but um, I really loved them. They were known as the Barbie girl sisters. I just loved how they dressed. I know that they were very controversial. Um... But I love their sense of style because they loved Juicy, they loved Betsy Johnson, and those are all brands that I love. Um, I don't know what happened to them, to be honest with you. I don't know, to be honest. Um, I love Pink Sparkles because she kind of has the same kind of style. Um, I haven't really been following her recently, though. I haven't really seen her recent videos, but that's just because I've been busy. But yeah, I kind of go, my, my sense of style and fashion goes two different ways. I've heard of Ambio figures, but I'm not familiar with what they are. The name is familiar, though, aren't? I feel like Joey has one or two of them. Aren't they Nintendo-related? I feel like they have to do with Nintendo. I never really liked the Bratz dolls. They are the Nintendo figures. Yes, I knew it. We actually have some from Splat for our Nintendo Wii U. Or is it the Wii? You really go on and like you play with them. We have some from Splat. Um, yeah, I am very familiar with them. Some of them are absolutely adorable. I'm talking about. I love the pop figures too. Um, I'm trying to talk about like three people at once. So I'm, I do apologize, Dan. I'm not sure what you're talking about. Um, so you have to um, let me know a little bit better. But I do love pop figures. I have more than I really need to admit to. And I'm running out of space to store them. And I plan on buying at least two more, at, no, three more at the current time. Um, I want Rainbow Bright. There's a Fraggle one that I'm missing. And there's an Ariel Monsters one that I want. I'm not wearing nylons right now, so I do apologize for that. Um, and actually, there's a show on Netflix that it's super, super funny. It's a little inappropriate, though. Uh, it's kind of along the lines of South Park. Yes, I know exactly what you're talking about. Um, but the show is called Big Mouth. I didn't even realize that there were, um, like I said, I'm responding to you guys. I didn't even realize that there were stories about hosiery. To be honest with you, um, it's not something that I've read. Um, that's new to me. A friend of mine turned me on to the show. It's definitely very interesting, but I realized that they just had pop figures on them. I, out of all of the pop figures that I've seen, I think the Hormone Monster is the, the Hormone Monstress, the female one, um, is the one I like the best. But I do love South Park. That's a show that I grew up watching because I wasn't supposed to watch South Park. My mom hated the show, so of course I loved it for that reason. But we don't have cable. I've had cable in years, almost 10 years. We have internet, so that's how we watch things like YouTube and you know, we get our stuff from that. 
Um, I would, I really miss seeing South Park on TV though. South Park. I know, maybe my pronunciation is a little bit wrong. I have gotten in trouble in the past on here for my pronunciation. My mother's first language was in English, so sometimes I pronounce things with a little bit of her accent. I understand where you're coming from. Um, Big Mouth is very controversial, I will say. Um, there's funny parts in it, but it's a very dirty sense of humor. So if you are easily offended, I would recommend watching it. But I did enjoy it. A friend of mine um, told me to watch it. We went to New York City, and that's what we ended up watching. It just, like, um, became, like, a part of, like, that, what's the word I'm looking for? Memory, I guess. So, I guess that's the reason why the show holds a special place in my heart. It's because we went out. We saw, um, went to museums. We went to this dining, what's it called? What's it called? Lips. It's a, a drag show. It's really cool. I'm not sure. Um, but it was a drag show and a singer was really fun. I totally get where you're coming from. The show is a little weird as far as that goes. Um, I don't think they ever showed stuff like that, though. I don't know. Um, I guess because, like, when I was growing up... I had no idea there was a game about that cartoon, to be honest with you. I guess what I kind of find humorous or understanding about it is when I was growing up around that age frame when you're going through puberty, the way we were raised, at least I was, maybe my brother has a different story to tell you, I don't know, um, wasn't to be shameful of ourselves. It was, I knew when I got my lady time what it was, but I had to tell it to my mother, and that was probably the most uncomfortable thing ever. If you want me to get into more details about that, we'll do that in another video, but we won't do that. Um, right now but we were kind of raised to feel that um, sex was simply just for reproductive purposes and that pregnancy like we were kind of taught like as children that it was kind of like a disease and to avoid it and then my mother wonders why Anthony and I don't have children that you kind of bred that into us to um, you know I, I know why she did it. You know, she didn't want, you know, a pregnant teenager coming home. I totally get it. Um, but, and to be honest with you, me and my brother are the babies, so. I did grow up that way. You are very, very right. Um, I did grow up with a very strong Catholic Christian um, belief. Um, but Anthony and I are the children. We are the babies. So we really didn't, um, we don't have a lot of experience with children. So I have friends who do have children. And I, I have the time I don't really know what to do. It's like, okay, you're cute. Like, I don't want to break you. Like, I'm very, I'm not scared around children. Children like to, um, yes, I was embarrassed. Absolutely. If I could be my own superhero and pick my own superpowers, oh man, that is a really good question. Going off top topic, but that's a very good question. Hmm. Let's think about this one. That's very hard. What kind of superpower would I want? Hmm. If I had a superpower, it wouldn't be anything probably useful because I'm very fascinated with the ocean as you guys know and I would love to go to depths of the ocean that we haven't seen so I guess to be able to breathe and like move underwater on very very deep depths would be fascinating to me to be able to see what we have down in the oceans and what may be lost down there so probably a stinky superpower but I think it'd be really awesome um for discovery I also love the idea of flying like not in a plane um, that would be a cool superpower to have, or to read minds, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe I don't want to know what everybody's thinking. I don't know. I've always had a fascination with the ocean since I was a child, so to know that, I, I, I mean, there are terrifying things in the ocean. I've seen some of the pictures of some of the things that they've pulled out of the waters. I don't know. To me, it just kind of, um, that's what I'm looking for.
fascinating. I don't know if I'd pick Wonder Woman as my favorite super female superhero. Um, she's not popular, but I love her look. Her story is very dark, though, and I'm not crazy about the story necessarily because I really don't like gore. I love the way Lady Death looks. Um, not necessarily my favorite superhero as far as how um, her story is. Well, she's a super villain, isn't she? Um, I was obsessed with Poison Ivy when I was younger. Superhero, though, is so difficult for me. Hmm. I think Wonder Woman is probably like, the most popular one. I mean, I think she's pretty. I like the way Lady Death looks. There's another superhero who's very, who's a blonde and... Hmm. What is her name? God, I can't remember it. I'm not really good with female superheroes. Now, Invisible Woman, that would be fun. She-Hulk I'm not a fan of. Mera from Aquaman, I'm not familiar with. Um, that'd be something to look into, though. Hmm. I can't remember her. Joey showed me the other day because we wanted to do Comic-Con. And Power Girl, I do know who you're talking about. No. Um, he wants to go to a Comic-Con, and the, the character he showed me, she's blonde, but she's dressed like a bunny. <laughs> You're right, that's what most of those female characters are. Um, now I feel like we're off subject again. We went to superheroes, I forgot what we were talking about. Uh, I guess growing up, um, the way we did with kids, but that's really not that important. Anyway, so let's go. White Rabbit, that's correct. Thank you so much. Yes, she's a Spider-Man villain. Um, I didn't become familiar with her until literally like a month or so ago. I guess New York had their Comic-Con a couple weeks ago, somewhere like that. And he's like, we should go one of these days. And I would love to. And he's like, you should be. And he picked that character because she's blonde. And I don't think I can pull off that look, to be honest with you, because she's literally wearing like a white corset and panties and a little cute little ears. And that's it. I can't see myself doing that. I don't... I'm not proud of my butt like that. I wouldn't mind dressing as Poison Ivy. But I'm not a redhead. Um, when we were doing for work, we're doing villains. As you guys know, I've chosen Beetlejuice. Just because I got the stuff to work in. I've been wanting to gender bend a character for quite some time. So I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I want to do lab, uh, Jared from Labyrinth for quite some time. I just don't have the stuff to do it. Um, but looking for female blonde villains was kind of difficult. I found the White Queen. Oh, Catwoman would be a good one. Well, I honestly, because you guys are talking about sex and my parents again. Um, growing up, it's, it's still a taboo subject to this day with my parents. I wasn't really told what it was. I learned from school. Um, I was told that through kissing is how babies were made. So it was a little awkward. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Um, and when I found out the truth, I'm like, oh, okay. So um, me and mother never really had those talks. Um, even the thought of having a talk with her like that is kind of like, I eh, don't really want to do it. Let's, let's just go past that. Um... Like I said, when I became a woman, as they call it, I had to tell her because I needed the products to take care of it. And that was probably the most awkward situation of my life. Well, that sounds cute. Um, because she made it awkward. Not, I mean, I knew what it was. I knew it was natural and I wasn't worried about it. I just had to tell her because I couldn't drive and I needed the products to take care of myself. I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, I grew up and, you know, you learn that not to be shameful of those things. Um, that's just how life is. And it happens, I think, more so than you want to expect. I know a lot of people who grew up similarly where um, sex was considered a taboo and it wasn't talked about and it was considered like, you know, a pregnancy is a disease. So, I mean, I know I'm not the only one that's gone through something like that. It is something that other people are told. Um, it's just a very rude awakening. 
I've heard of Gwen Stacy, but I'm not super familiar with her. Um, actually, as far as superheroes and super villains and stuff go, I tend to lean towards more DC stuff. I'm not very familiar with them. I just love Batman, to be honest with you. I love Batman and Joker. I love that particular franchise more than anything. Um, Marvel's not bad, but out of the two, I tend to lean towards DC more. I guess I like it, the darker stuff, and um, Tim Burton did a lot of Batman movies, so I guess that's why I tend to like that, because I love Tim Burton stuff. Oh, you're a big superhero fan? I love talking to you guys doing this. This is a lot of fun for me. Um, getting to know who, you know, you guys and stuff like that. Nightwing. That's another superhero that I haven't heard of. It was, Dan, it was a very big wake-up call with that whole thing. Um, I had a really, really good friend um, in that time. I guess we'll say she was more advanced than I was. Um, and she kind of let me in after, like, when I first had my first class and learned about it in school. And I'm like, okay, I've been wrong all these years. I went to her. Her name was Rose. I called her Rosie. I told Rosie what I learned, and she looked at me like, really? And um, she explained things to me a little bit better and stuff like that. But it was definitely a very rude awakening, and it was very confusing. And to this day, like I said, I don't talk to my mother about those kinds of things. It's just that kind of a relationship we have. Um, our relationship is definitely way better now than it was back then, but we did have quite a bit of struggle. Um, yeah, uh, when it came to sex, just something that wasn't talked about. It really wasn't. Um, she just like, you know, you wait till marriage. You worry about it when you get married. You worry about it when you get married. So I was like, okay. But as far as sex talk goes, I know that we can get demonetized on these videos for talking about that. If that's a video we really want to talk about, um, I really don't know where to even put that. Probably a Patreon. I may seriously have to do something like that. Um, we can definitely talk more about that some other time. I know it's very awkward, but... I was a late bloomer, Dan, to be honest with you. I was 18. So, leave it at that. Um, yeah, wasn't good either. So, If we want to talk more about that kind of, if we want to talk about sex and first time experience and stuff like that, maybe I really do need to do a Patreon um, and talk more about those kind of things. It's not something I normally talk about. <laughs> um, not that it's something that's awkward for me. It's just it's not something that... As you guys have already learned from me, that's something that we grew up feeling comfortable talking about. So, it was a weird childhood. My childhood was very weird. I grew up in a, in a butcher shop, so that alone will tell you that it was weird. Grew up in smoke houses. But you know what? It's awesome because I really... Growing up in a smoke house, I know that sounds so odd. There's a comfort to it. Like, the, I, I'll smell... Like the smoking of um, the meats and stuff because the the business is still in the family and it's such a comfort. Because I used to grow up and watch my grandfather make bratwurst and he would debone hands and stuff like that. And it was just something that I really loved. I am aware that a lot of people are here for um, fetishes and sexual reasons and that's awesome. Um, everybody has their vice or what they're attracted to. I, and if you tell me you don't have a fetish or you don't have something that makes you feel good, um, I don't believe you. Everybody does. Um, but again, those are talks for probably a Patreon. What type of fishes do I like the most? Ooh, that is a good one. I think I like the classic style the most. Um, I don't like the ones with the line on the back because maybe it's just me. I have a very, very hard time lining up the line perfectly straight up the back of my leg. So I like them um, seamless. Um, and wear pantyhose underneath the fishnet so that the fishnet don't go between your toes. Because I've had that happen where they go between your toes and it hurts. And I don't like that. Um, I really need to wear fishnets more. I really don't do that as often as I'd like to. But in the industry that I work in, it's not appropriate. And then when I'm off, I hang out with my mom. And I don't want to wear fishnets around my mother because that's kind of, you know, weird. 
or with the summer we're going swimming so what's the point of putting on a pair of fishnets but with fall coming I feel like fall is like the perfect season for fishnets um, and tights so I'm really excited about that I don't like winter but again you have more with the my foot okay so I'm being asked what size shoe do I typically wear Um, Dan, yes, there are going to be more high heels, more pantyhose videos, and more Funko Pops. Um, the size shoe that I typically wear is anywhere between an 8 and 8.5. And I will go down or up a size depending. Um, the boots, I think, are a 9. Yes, they're a 9 um, because of how sharp the front is. Yeah, I know you're right. Um, because of how pointy it is, I will go up a size. No, don't feel bad. There's nothing to feel bad for. Um, I know my channel is a mix of different things, whether it's toys or whether it's fashion or feet and pantyhose. Hey, I do a little bit of everything here, um, and I want everybody to be happy. So I do do a wide range of videos for you guys. And I know a lot of you are here more for fashion than for some of the other videos. And I feel bad for you for those that are here more for toy videos because I have kind of gotten away from it. Okay, that's really cool. Um, yeah, I've just been so busy and haven't found anything. The boots are a size 9. Um, when something tends to be a little pointier, I will go up to a 9 just because it fits me better and it doesn't hurt. Um, but I'm typically an 8 to an 8 and a half esque um, open toes or slingbacks or even um, flip-flops. I can go to a 7 and a half. It all depends on the type of shoe and the style of shoe. So I don't really, I don't define myself by a size. I don't know if my feet are small. I would say my feet are average sized. My mom's feet are tiny. Her foot's smaller than mine. I think she wears a seven, seven and a half. Um, but I would say my foot's probably average. But uh, I don't define myself by size, by my shoes or my clothing. I could do a live stream about that kind of thing. I'm not sure if I could do it here on YouTube. I was just asked about doing a video as answering questions that were of a adult nature. Um, I really need to get that Patreon up and going. I haven't had the time to research it because I've been doing a research project for work. It's been on the back burner for months. And I really need to get that Patreon going. Um, but that could be something or maybe even on Instagram or um which we'll call it i'm still getting the gist of snapchat so that could be something on there um i gotta check my name because i know one of you said that you were trying to find me on snapchat and couldn't find me i thought it was the same name that i use on here maybe not so so i just gotta double check that and i'll let you guys know in our next video what that name is because i really don't go on there that often Yes, there will be more videos coming. I do have a few office videos that are going to be coming up. Um, just haven't posted them yet. With vacation and stuff, I should have packed my bag tonight, but I didn't because I wanted to talk to you guys. And there's a gnat bothering me. It's driving me absolutely insane. I do apologize, guys. Um, so I got to pack. I got to call my mom because she's got to watch Desi. What else do I got to do? I got to do some laundry. I wouldn't know where to sell them, to be honest with you, because I, I think you have to go on certain sites to um, sell those kinds of things. Um, they're asking about pantyhose again. Thank you. I think I'm very lucky to have him as well. Um, Joey and I do plan on doing a... He wants to do a mukbang. I forgot who asked to do a mukbang, but he wants to do like a Chinese food mukbang live. So maybe, obviously not this week because of vacation, so maybe the following week. Hello, how are you? I see some more of you are joining. Um, and I did buy some interesting gummies that we're going to try. It's very difficult trying to find unique foods where I live. So, there's a city about an hour from here that sells some interesting stuff. Well, somebody just said that I'm very accepting of many things and that they find that surprising. Um, I... 
as long as you're not hurting anybody, I love everyone. So as long as you're not causing anybody any harm, to each his own. So whatever you do, as long as you're not hurting anybody, more power to you. Um, there are way worse things out there than liking feet or pantyhose or whatever other um, fetishes there are out there. Um, I have many friends that dress in drag, so um, yeah, I'm very um, acceptive and open to many things. And even if it's something that I'm not familiar with, I tend to try to learn more about um, whatever it is before I make an opinion. Because if you really don't know, you really can't make an opinion. I try to educate myself prior to judging because, and I guess that comes from being raised um, the way I was. They, you're taught not to judge others or you will be judged. You know what I'm saying? I haven't started the Patreon yet. I do plan on doing it though. Um, so I don't, I try my best not to judge and I try to keep myself in check with that. And like I said, if I find out something new or about a different type of um, thing, regardless of what it is, I try to educate myself on it prior. So I guess that's why I'm more understanding. Um, and I grew up in, in um, I live now in a very rural area. It's kind of closed minded, but I did have the, um, I don't want to use the term luxury, but I was able to grow up in an area when I was very young in a city area where you had lots of different people around. Oh, I'm glad you really did enjoy the uh, last uh, candy tasting. Those hot and spicy Skittles were actually weren't that bad because they come on sweet at first, except for the mango one. That was kind of gross. Um, and they get a little bit of heat. So if you like spicy, I totally recommend them. I saw that they also have Starburst as well, but I'm not a fan of Starburst. I'm not a fan of taffy. Generally speaking, I definitely am more of a gummy person. Absolutely, Tony. Do unto others as you wish done to you. And I totally agree with that. Yeah. Um, and I try to remind myself with that. I've had quite a few people this year. I haven't talked to you guys about this aspect because I don't like putting light on negativity because there's no positive coming out of it. I had quite a struggle with a family member recently. I can't even tell you the fights. Um, it was pretty, pretty bad. I actually had them. They, this was two years ago. They told me they weren't going to get me a birthday cake because I was too fat to have one. Um, that's just a very small thing compared to what happened. I agree with you. Um, but I've been struggling with that for quite some time with this person. Um, I, I can't tell you the depression I, I, I was put into with this. I was trying to figure out a way of making things work. Um, to try to have a relationship with this person. To try to put my ideas aside. Realizing that maybe they're just too ignorant of what they're doing. And I can't. I've just had to separate myself entirely. Because I couldn't put up with the negativity anymore. Um, I almost lost my job because of this person it was just horrific on so many levels and it just came to a point where I was like you know it doesn't pay to be consistently upset or to be consistently mad over this sometimes you just have to walk away and that's exactly what I did but it was so difficult um and I started to try to lose weight at that point anyway before she even mentioned anything but I'm telling you, it really hurt. It really hurt me. Um, at one point, I did have an eating disorder, so it really, really bothered me hearing those kinds of words. And when you talk to somebody, maybe that's also why things, I'm a little more sensitive to other people as well, because I've been down those roads where I've been hurt, and I don't want to hurt anybody else. And she hurt me really, really bad. And I am probably my worst critic as far as, you know, how I look and how my body looks and stuff like that. So I'm always constantly like, you know, eat healthy and exercise and make be the best person that you can possibly be without being negative, without hurting yourself. And she, um, except for the past year, was absolutely horrific. And um, I didn't, I didn't want to bring it to light. Uh, I didn't want to talk to you guys about because I don't like talking about negativity. But um, it's been weighing on me for like over a year. And I kind of felt like I was going through it a lot by myself. But um, 
I would talk to go to church so I would talk to the priest about what was going on and thankfully he was able to like put my mind where I needed to yes you're absolutely right every family has those Jerry Springer moments oh thank you so much guys and that's why I like being able to talk to you guys because um being honest with you really does help and you know you get to learn more about me and I get to learn more about you um, but yeah, it was difficult. I didn't want to tell you guys about it at the time because it was such a fresh wound. But now I can look back in hindsight and be like, okay, well this happened and I was able to move forward from it. And, um, was it a hard battle? I'm not going to lie to you. It was. Every time. My family, um, I have a very fall, very small family circle. And we, um, you know, we're very tight. So when you have a family member like this that's very negative or toxic, uh, it affects everybody. So it affected my parents, my brother. Um, but luckily we were very strong together as well. Um, my brother did have a YouTube channel on here at one point. Um, he doesn't do anything anymore because um, he had a um, gun channel. So he did a lot of like shooting and stuff like that. So and you know, he just doesn't anymore because YouTube doesn't like that kind of thing, I guess. I know the feeling as well. Um, with Halloween for work, I'm going as Beetlejuice. I may do some other costume ideas depending on the parties. I have Disco Rabbit. I have Lydia from Beetlejuice available as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do all of them this year. But I do have them. So if there's parties, we may be doing um, one of those other ones. But Beetlejuice is definitely going to be one that I do. But yes, um, to the one comment, I was made fun of for my weight as well. Um, when I was younger, I was kind of a chunky kid. I'll just show you some of my pictures at one point. Um, I was heavy in my preteen years. When I became a teenager, another thing, I, and I was bullied. I was actually put in public, um, taken out of public school and put into private school because of the bullying. And I went to private school and the bullying got worse. <sighs> That's a whole nother story. We won't go down that road today. We will do that in another video. And when I went back to public school, I was in high school at this point. I went back um, eighth grade, so right before high school. And I remember, again, I was a little on the chunky side at this point. I was trying to lose weight. Yes, Jamie, we are better off without nasty people. As my boss likes to say, like water off of a duck's back. Now, this thing never leaves. I know what you're talking about. Um, but like I said, when I went back to school, there was this kid and I'll be honest with you at now, um, the pants I'm planning to wear for Beetlejuice are pretty tight. So you will see a lot of legs. So, um, yeah, it'll be a cute outfit. I think you guys will like it. Um, uh, when I went back to public school, this one kid, he was kind of like a jock and semi-popular. Um, actually he's, he's like completely gone downhill now. Yes, you're absolutely right. Um, anyway, so I was waiting for mom to pick me up. I was at an after school program that day and he was all over this girl who was one of the cheerleaders and he looks over at me and he goes, why would I want a creature like you when I can have something beautiful like this? And did it sting? It did. Not that I really cared about his opinion. I'll be honest with you. I didn't care about his opinion. I never liked the kid. Um, and karma bit him in the butt eventually anyway but it did give me I hate to say it it did motivate me as far as wanting to lose weight and it, I did develop an eating disorder because of it and not that I recommend that at all um, I was lucky enough to have very positive people in my life to help me get help when I needed it and um, be able to become healthy again so no I'm not a size zero or a size two like I was at my unhealthiest but um, I'm healthy and health is more important than the size of my genes. I've learned that and I try to pass that message on to other women because it's extremely important. You don't need to be a size zero to think you're beautiful. That's not true. Um, I've, I've lived it and I don't want to see anybody else go through that pain. And um, like I said, I'm not a size zero and that's okay. Um, there's things about me that I, I'm not crazy about, but... That's why you work on it. And that's what life is about. Um, try to be the best you can be in the moment. And that's the most important thing. 
So like I said, maybe he hurt me, but yes, I can do um, a lot better. Like I said, he was never a guy that I had interest in. Even in high school, I never had a crush on him or anything like that. But did the words sting? Absolutely. And do they sometimes, um, they'll sometimes call me in the back of my head too. Um, but I've been able to learn from it. You know, I'm not that little 14 year old girl anymore. I've got more strength. I was able to grow from it. I wish I could go back and tell her some of those lessons so I wouldn't go through the hardship that I went through. But I think everybody needs to go through that. Not necessarily eating disorder, but like, um, everybody goes through a hardship. So that's what makes, um, character, I guess. But, um, he ended up, karma, like I said, bit him in the butt eventually anyway. He's not doing so good. So, you know, I don't hate on the guy. He, he's got his own vices. So it is what it is. There's a gnat in here. It's driving me absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, I really don't talk to anybody from high school, to be honest with you, because they were all so negative. Yeah, and that, that's very true. And it bothers me today. I'm lucky that I grew up in a, I don't want to say era, but I grew up in a time where we didn't really have, hi, Frederick, how are you? I grew up in a time where we didn't have social media the way we do now. So I'm so thankful I went through my high school years without having that. Um, MySpace came out pretty much when I was in college or, well, I think it came out when I was in high school, but I wasn't really on it because I really wasn't into the whole thing. You know what I'm, what I'm talking about here? Um, so I'm thankful that I didn't have that because the cyberbullying today is ridiculous. I feel really bad for it. Uh, you're always hearing about some kind of story about somebody getting bullied to the point where they're committing suicide and stuff like that. I really wish that kids would learn to be less cruel. Like I said, I, I was bullied my entire life. That's how I ended up in um, private school because I was bullied so badly. But when I got to the private school, it was so much worse. I can't even tell you how bad it got. And that's kind of where I grew my backbone. Because when I got there, the first week or so was brilliant. It was absolutely amazing. And I remember thinking, this is my safe haven. This is my home. And I was... In fifth school, I started sixth grade there. So I must have been about 11 years old when I started um, private school. It was a Christian-based uh, private school. Now, different religion. They were born again. I was Catholic. And when they realized that, that's probably where the main um, bullying came from was the fact that I was a different religion, even though you're still believing in the same God. I mean, just a different flavor, pretty much. Um, that was a big in. And then the fact that I was chunky uh, was another reason and they always liked he's the ones that didn't attend the church yeah those MySpace days were crazy um so when I learned that they were just picking on people that didn't go to that church I remember one day they took this kid and he was a little bit younger than me but maybe two or three years and they literally grabbed him by his ankles and turned him upside down and they were beating the crap out of him at this point i was like this isn't a safe haven this is worse and i had nothing to lose so i went up to and this girl was older than me i think she was in the high school wing because it was kind of like the best way for me to describe these rooms were um like dr quinn you had like kindergarten to fourth grade then the room i was in was the fifth to the eighth graders and there was like 20 in each of these rooms and then the ninth through 12th grade or the high school ones had their own room. They're like maybe 20 in each of these. So 60 kids in um, total in this whole school. Yeah, you're right. Um, so this girl, I would say, I think she was 11th grade. I think she graduated later on. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yeah, she had to be 11th grade, and I was, had to be 6th grade at this point. Um, and they were torturing this kid. And I was like, well, I've been bullied before. If I get beaten up, I get beaten up. And I went up to her, and I was, I let her have it. I kind of punched her in the gut, and they dropped him so she could get away. And I was like, you know, you have no right treating him like that. And she laughed at me. And I was waiting for her, like I was up in her face, like, I mean, she was like this tall and I'm like up towards her chest and I'm just looking up at her like this, like a little chihuahua looking up at a Rottweiler because, you know, why not? And I waited for it, like, okay, go ahead, test me. I'm ready for it because 
I may not have much to, to dish out, but I'm going to do it. And she laughed at me and walked away. So I don't know if she saw me as a threat or just like, you're so pathetic, you're not worth my time. But that's where I started standing up for others and like people who were getting bullied. And even when I get went back to public school after that, um, the table of people that sat around me, we were a bunch of misfits because they were the people that didn't fit in anywhere that everybody bullied, but they knew they sat with us that they were kind of protected. I wasn't mama bear, but if you're being bullied, nobody at our table would bully you. So you were safe there. And if somebody came and bothered you, we all had your back. So that's the kind of person I was. I had all kinds of people that I was friends with in high school because of that, because we all knew what it was like and we didn't want anybody else to feel that way. So I learned that in private school and I learned that that wasn't my safe haven anymore when the bullying was worse. And I was like, well, it gave me the backbone I needed. Um, it made me stand up for what was right. It made me stand up for myself. If I didn't have that, I'm not sure what would have happened. But so that negativity, something positive came out of it because I was able to stand up for others and stand up for myself. And when I finally had enough of that, I told mom, I was like, things got really bad there, guys. So that'll be a whole nother video entirely because we're already 80 minutes into this video. So we'll save that. Maybe for the next live chat, we'll talk about what happened to me in private school. Um, but by the time I went back to public school and I was faced with the same bullies I dealt with prior, I was a different person. I was ready for it. And I wasn't going to let anybody else go through what I had gone through previously. So, um, negative experiences can sometimes bring positivity. It depends on how you look at it. So that's what happened with me. But I definitely will talk about that at some point. I actually can still fit into my, um, uniform, believe it or not. Maybe I could do an outfit of the day video with my old, um, vid um, uniform that would be kind of interesting I haven't put that thing on in god knows how long um yeah i got more confidence definitely as i matured i think that happens naturally though for anybody but definitely with the bullying thing i, I i'll tell you i had no self-esteem whatsoever and the funny thing is i was talking to my mother about this yesterday her and i went out um shopping uh, my uniform was a plaid skirt and just a white top. I don't have any of the white shirts anymore. I hated them because they were see-through. Ugh, it's horrible. God forbid you have a bra underneath those stupid things. But it was a plaid skirt with that, and I don't have the um, cardigans anymore. I think I still have the skirt, though. Um, but I was talking to my mother yesterday literally about this same situation. I was telling her, you guys, like, you know, I spent two years in private school when I told her I wanted to go back to public school. And she's like, are you sure? I was like, yeah, I'm sure. That is true. High heels are good for defense. <laughs> and when I went back, I thought for sure that somebody would have called me or say, where are you? And this and that. And I waited a week. No, two weeks. I waited. And not a single person from that private school ever called me. Not one. I didn't make one single friend the entire two years I was there. It hurt so bad. I can't even tell you. And I remember calling the popular girl she was, I don't want to use the term infatuated, but I looked up to this girl. I think she was a year younger than me, but she was the popular one in my little group. Oh, thank you so much, Dan. Um, I was, you know, I didn't look up to her, but I wanted to be her friend because she was the popular girl and everybody loved her and she was involved in everything and this, that, and the other thing. I called her and her sister once and you could tell on the phone that she had no interest in me at all as far as talking to me on the phone. And when I hung up that phone, my mom, because I was 13 at this point, mom's like, well, how'd that go? And I'm like, I'll never talk to her again. What do you mean? What do you mean? She's a friend. He was like, no, we're not friends. I don't have any friends. And I went back to school and I met up with the girls that I was friends with before leaving. And it was good. And I met Rosie, who taught me about um, adult things, as we talked about earlier. So I did end up being some amazing people. And there's actually one or two that I still do talk to. I still talk to Rosie. And um, she's married and she's a mom now. And uh, she's very special to me. She taught me a lot. And she'll always have a special place in my heart for that. But um, yeah, I talked to my mom about it. And I was like, you know what? It, it's kind of disheartening that I spent all that time in that school. And not one friend out of it. But it's not the end of the world either. It's just that considering what we went through, I would have thought that at least one friend would have come out of it, but it wasn't the case. So you live and you learn. 
that's what happens. And like I said, it gave me the confidence I needed. It gave me the backbone I needed. So I don't think that being in that school for two years was bad. Um, it was a learning thing. And I try to look at every day like that. Every mistake is a learning experience. Yes, at least I do have YouTube friends, and I love you all so, so much. Do I keep up with some of my old friends? I do. Um, a couple of them, not too many. I would say there's two of them. There's a male and a female. Um, we don't talk as much as we do. They've left the state that I live in. They're in different states now. Both trying to get me to move to their states, but to be honest with you, it's just not my thing. They got bugs like this, and I can't handle that in tornadoes, and I don't want to deal with tornadoes. I don't like them what I deal with now. But, um, yeah, I do still talk to two of them. Um, not fairly regular, but, you know, on a fairly eh, semi-regular basis. And um, they're both doing really good. And um, I do miss them. I just wish I could see them more often. Uh, but like I said, I don't like big bugs. I, I hate bugs. I hate centipedes. Hate they're my least favorite bug. Or those earwig thingies. that just gross. No. I can deal with a snake before bugs. No, a lot of people are that. I can handle spiders. If you've got more than eight legs, though, I don't want you anywhere near me. Keep, keep walking. <laughs> I like big bugs, and I cannot lie. I love that. That's funny. Um, anyway, guys, unfortunately, we're going to cut this short soon. I think we'll do a few more minutes. Once this thing starts telling me that we have 10% left of battery, we're going to shut down. I have a fan page um, that you guys are more than welcome to join. I don't mind slugs. Slugs are okay. They're just snails without shells. Um, I keep my other page private mainly because I have family members on there that really aren't... It's not that they are against what I do here on YouTube, but they want their privacy. And I need to respect that. So you guys are more than um, welcome to join on the fan page. You're more than welcome to join me on Instagram. Once I remember, I'll look up my um, Snapchat name and let you guys know that and you can follow me on there yes guys um i will do a more leather once fall hits because somebody just said uh, i want to see a leather collection i will definitely show you my leather once fall hits if it's too hot right now it's like 90 something degrees we're having a heat wave over where i'm living right now yes we will be seeing some more videos soon i hope to do a live video while we're on the cape um, I want to do a couple actually. We'll see. It's going to be busy as hell. It's probably going to be crazy there, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. Maybe we'll do a live video on the uh, beach. We'll have Joy hold the camera. Maybe we'll do an outfit on the beach thing. That might be kind of cool. And um, I think it'll be fun. I got quite a few um, swimsuits, so maybe we'll do something that way. You have a good day too, guys. Unfortunately, my camera is blinking. We're at 10% battery right now. So unfortunately, we are going to have to cut this short, but thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you really enjoyed this um, haul slash talking about weird things video. Good night, guys. Um, I will do a, let's see, when we'll have time to do this again. Holy crap. We might not be able to do a live video until I'm actually in Cape Cod, guys. So I do apologize for that, but I will be posting some videos that I've already have filmed. Um, for you guys to watch. I got some awesome outfits for you guys and all that other jazz. So I'm going to get going, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I really love doing these live videos with you guys and getting to um, talk to you on a live basis. So I will see you soon. I'm going to finish up my wine and just relax for the night and charge up my phone. So good night, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.